welcome back to Made by Marsha Mom. I'm Marsha, and I just wanted to say hi to everyone. Thank you for subscribing. I think I'm up over 100, thanks to I know in part due to Seta. And uh, those of you who don't know, I went to Virginia, and I met Seta at Joann's. I was up in Virginia from Florida for my um, grandson's first birthday. And I was able to sneak away from all those festivities with my daughter and my grandson. We went to Joann's, and... Seta was there, and we went out to lunch, had a great time. Um, what else can I tell you? <clears throat> Virginia was cold. It was very, very cold. And I had no internet, so I couldn't thank everybody who came over from Seta's page and joined um, my YouTube channel. So I do want to say thank you. And as soon as I get time this week, I'm going to respond to everybody's comments because there was a gazillion of them. Um, and let me show you what I've been up to. First of all, <clears throat> Seta and I exchanged little gifts. Seta got me some Karen Simply Soft. I don't know if she knew I like purple, but I do. So I've got all this. I can make Amis, although this is really, really soft. And now I have to decide what I want to do with it. It was perfect. Um, and then on our adventures, sorry, I keep dropping things. Um, on our adventures to Joanne's. I happen to get two DK colors. Who are these by Premier Yarns? They are really, really soft. Love these colors, although I'm a purple girl. I make a lot of things for my grandson. And this is just a different yarn other than Red Heart Super Saver. So I did splurge a little bit and got me those two. Um, and then, of course, it would not be Marsha or made by Marsha Mom if I didn't... Uh, Go and spend unnecessary funds on some new Amigurumi books. I got the farm animals. A oh, little bit of glare. Here is the back side. But in my defense, we went to Joanne's twice, two times, and I had 50% off coupons. So there's one. And then my daughter really liked the patchwork animals. So there's a frog, a lion. There's 12 different animals, but they're all made with just little scraps of yarn. Even a little monkey. Sorry, that glare from my window. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So I got that one. And then if you also watch, uh, or, or you're a member of Random ran, ran, Randy's Random Ramblings, I uh, called Kim from Blue Chair about on this one because, again... Had a 50% off coupon. Had to have it. Um, although, I noticed if you get this book, there is a monster in here. Hang on, let me show you. Where is he? Where'd he go? He is. Now I won't be able to find him. <clears throat> you think his pattern is in this book, but it is not, in fact. Only the little one is. Give me... These guys. If you want to make the bigger one, you have to buy the other book. Just a warning. But other than that, these monsters are adorable. All these tags um, are not mine. That's my daughter. I have to make all those for Emmett. Um, what else did I get up to? Also, I guess this is my new favorite stitch. I think you can see it better on here. Here's a little project I'm working on. I made my grandson a hat. And we had some leftover yarn because she bought a uh, big cake. So, that's what's left. I'm going to make these panels and put them together to make a little car seat blanket to match his little hat. Then hopefully I'll have enough left of this to make him a pom-pom for the hat I made. Which I left up there. Um... And then my daughter bestowed me with yarn because she always thinks she's going to crochet or knit or something, but she never does. So I got two skeins of Barcelona, I guess, from Loops and Threads. I think this would make a great monster. Got that from her. I also got... A bunch of this, um, many, many colors. This is that, um, sachet yarn. Oh, I'm out of focus. There we go. 
You know that weird little yarn that isn't really a yarn? I took all her sachet because I make the doll clothes and I saw a YouTube video on how to make doll clothes skirts out of these. But if anybody else has any ideas besides that scarf that I have hanging over there that I showed on my um, room tour video, this is that yarn, sachet. If anybody knows what else to do with it, leave comments below and or links or something so I can get to those. Um, the other thing, what else did she give me? Give me Miss <clears throat> Pipe Cleaners. Focus. There we go. Um, pipe cleaners. Some decorative mesh. I don't know what to do with it, but she offloaded. Now my craft room is just a hot mess smothered in beef gravy. More sachet. I probably have, I don't know, 12, 12 balls of the sachet. Um... What else did I want to show you? I wanted to show you. Oh, I wanted to show you. Because if you saw Sada's video, um, I got her some. Oh, focus. There we go. Um, I got her some tea and a tea. Um, what do you call it? Um, fused bulk tea. Um, um, it's a little teapot. Infuser. I got her one of these because I saw this. I could not resist it. So it's celebrate your creativity. Tea. I drink tea as well. So I got her one and me one. So we have matching ones. These, if you don't know, there's a um, a store. It's kind of like Pier 1 Imports. It's called um, Cost Plus Market. They have specialty wines and beers and chocolates and imported stuff. And I don't think they have a cold section, but they have a lot of wonderful teas and all kinds of teapots and tea cozies and everything tea that you can think of. And little cookies and cakes to go with it. So I got that. Excuse me. <coughs> trying to think what else I can talk about. Um, That blanket stitch is the same stitch that one I'm working on for my grandson. That's that same stitch I made that cowl out of, which I put in the wash, by the way. So I want to see if it'll soften up because it's a little stiff. This is that, um, gosh, I'm just so prepared, aren't I? It's that stitch, the, um, peephole, peephole ripple, peephole, something like that. Um, if anybody's interested in knowing how to do this, it's so, it's addictive. Gives you the zigzag, and it's just, I just love this stitch. I could do a tutorial, teach everybody how to do it. It's not my stitch, but I could do a, figure out a tutorial to do it. I love that stitch, so. And, oh, I almost forgot. That's what I forgot. My daughter cloth diapers. And she's also trying to get away with without buying wipes, because now he's a year old. It's this little flannel. It's a little flannel, surged little wash rag. This is one she bought. Apparently, these go online for over a dollar a piece. And all they are is a surged little square of flannel. But the, the cloth diaper companies and different people um, charge <laughs> outrageous money for something this simple. So what we did was we got some fabric. And, oh, sorry, had to reach. She bought half yards of this space fabric for me to make her and my niece, who was born on my birthday, um, Maddie. Hi, Maddie, if you're watching. Um, to make them wipes, washcloths, I also bought a yard of this fabric. And I got this with I was with Seta. Um, this little monster fabric. I got a thing of the space fabric and the space of the moon fabric. I am going to make those stinking um, wash rags. Um, wipies. That's a, that's a thing. It wasn't a thing when I had kids. And I also want to make... 
they get like nine or twelve dollars for this bag because it has pool fabric p-u-l fabric in it the outside is just either cotton or flannel got a simple zipper they get ridiculous amounts of money i need to get me some pool fabric i need to get online i need to start selling these things um that was the other thing i got with seta i also got i don't know if i can reach it <laughs> I forgot that I got all this yarn the day before we met Seta. I got a bunch of scrubby yarn and cotton yarn. <laughs> it was ridiculous. Um, I think I got two or three colors of scrubby and a bunch of cotton. And my daughter bought some cotton and I'm going to make her. And I will show you guys when I get them done. I made her one. I left it in Virginia. She wants the owl. It's an owl washcloth with the scrubby belly. You take the scrubby yarn, make the belly with it, make two eyes. Um, so I will show you that. I had a prototype up there, but I left it up there. And what else? What else? I haven't made progress on really anything. I brought a bunch of stuff up there to do, but never got to it because we were too busy shopping. Um, at the end of this video, I'm going to insert some pictures of Seta and I, and I'm going to probably sneak in a picture because I did see snow. Sneak in a picture of snow, and what else? Um, sneak in a picture of my grandson with his birthday cake. Um, if you have any questions, comments, um, let me know what to do with sachet yarn. And thank you very much for um, liking and subscribing to my videos. Um, I'm going to have another one because I think I'm going to do that 10, not, yeah, blah, 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 blah. I can talk, um, the 10 non-yarny things. I think I'm going to do that one um, probably after I get my grandchildren from school because they haven't seen me in a week. So I will talk to everyone later. Thank you so much. Um, again, thank you, Seta. It was great meeting you and I can't wait to meet more people. So if anybody's ever in Florida, let me know. Um, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.